Sports and Friday Night Lights are only a couple weeks away. While excitement for football season is high, the number of referees and officials is low. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning with more on what, what this means for sports this fall. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Caitlin. So on any given Friday during football season, there's 150 to 160 games being played, and that takes a lot of reps to pull off. Well, this year it looks like they're about 200 refs short compared to last year, but there's still time for people to get into refing and to get started to boost those numbers. Now, getting started as a ref is a bit or a lot more simple than you would think on the Iowa High School Athletic Association's website. There's a step by step process on how to become a ref. All you have to do is sign up online, pay for the study materials and then pass an exam. Then you're ready to start refing. The Athletic Association also welcomes officials during the season so people can get into refing really any time. One reason that there may be a shortage of refs is due to bad press headlines of heckling or abuse targeted towards officials and just one bad example going viral can give a bad reputation. If people believe that that's what happens to officials, then, you know, not very many people are going to want to do it. Um, that's not t typical for what happens to officials. Typically, officials go, they officiate a game, there's always tension. It's part of competition. They know that. They go do the game. They do the best job they can. And, and then they leave. So if that number of refs continues to drop, we might see some games need to be rescheduled or moved to a Thursday or Saturday. So Thursday night lights or Saturday night lights in that case. But right now, it looks like they have enough to cover Fridays for most varsity football games. It's going to be those uh, junior high and JV games that may be more at risk of getting moved. Okay, we'll just have to wait and see if people answered that call. Thanks for that live report, Griffin.